There was another article published in the Journal of Nutrition in 2018 titled Healthy Plant-Based Diets Are Associated with Lower Risk of All-Cause Mortality. Now, I, I find that really a delightful title because it says all-cause mortality. So that means everything from heart disease to cancer to diabetes to, you know, suicide to um, accident accidental gun deaths to, you know, um, uh, jumping off a building. I mean, dying from any cause. So if you're plant-based, you are much less likely to, you know, get in a car accident. I mean, anything. Um, so being plant-based means that you have more common sense and you're less likely to do stupid things and that could kill you. Um, so it showed that Plant-based diets reduce the risk for dying from any cause, including all of the major chronic illnesses, uh, heart disease, hypertension, diabetes, cancer, obesity, and other causes. And these diets contained no dairy. Plant-based diets have been consistently shown in medical research over the last 60 plus years to decrease the risk for heart disease, a variety of cancers, hypertension, stroke, diabetes, autoimmune diseases, and obesity. Medical research has also shown the roots of Adult chronic disease are laid down in childhood. Okay, um, autopsy studies on kids sadly killed in uh, car accidents or other accidents show that children as, as young as eight years of age can have the beginnings of fatty streaks forming in their arteries if they are eating a standard Western style diet that's high in fat, grease, and cholesterol. Um, uh, children fed diets high in red meat, animal protein, and dairy products are at increased risk for heart disease and hormone-related cancers, such as breast, prostate uh, cancers as adults, and can have up to triple the risk for colorectal cancer as long as 65 years after having been exposed to dairy products and red meat uh, in their youth. So, ladies and gentlemen, you got to be careful what you're feeding your children if you love them. I'm sorry. Um, you know, uh, taking your kids to McDonald's and uh, Burger King or wherever is not a benign process. You're setting these kids up for a lifetime of misery. Moreover, studies have also consistently shown that obese kids, guess what? Grow into obese adults. Uh, as I said, autopsy studies have shown children eating the standard American diet or the SAD diet that have been killed in accidents show these fatty arterial streaks and other lesions um, that eventually develop into uh, a cardiovascular disease. In the summary of the third export, I mean, I'm sorry, expert report that was published in 2012, sponsored by the World Cancer Research Fund, and the American Institute for Cancer Research was a joint study. The report again emphasized the link between preventable dietary exposures and cancer risk. Dietary, physiologic, lifestyle factors that increased risk were the usual suspects. Um, Claude Rains and Humphrey Bogart would be proud. The usual suspects, red and processed meat, Heme iron, which is found in animal foods, high amounts of sodium, alcohol, obesity, chronic inflammation, and sitting on the couch uh, with the remote in your hand, the lack of exercise. Protective dietary components were, again, guess what? Vegetables, fruits, whole grains, legumes, both soluble and insoluble dietary fiber, which is only found in plant foods, plant-derived vitamins and antioxidants such as vitamin C, E, selenium, and folate, phytochemicals such as your carotenoids, um, diethiothionates, isothiocyanates, uh, flavonoids, and phenols, just to name a few. And those last unpronounceable compounds are the things that give um, berries and uh, uh, fruits and uh, vegetables, their colors. So anything with beautiful, deep colors are the things that confer the kind of protection 
on us that will protect us from disease and help us to ward off uh, um, dementia, um, heart disease, infection, and help us to live a long life. In addition, the report urged the elimination of calorie dense high energy foods like sugar sweetened beverages and foods high in total and saturated fat and trans fat, I might add, uh, both to lower disease risk and reduce obesity. <laughs>